Hey besties, to some people, the lifestyle of a place may be the determining factor of whether or not they go there. And that's why I'm making this video. In case you care about the lifestyle, well, let me break the news to you. In case you are the type of person that likes a loud place, too much noise, too much drama, party everywhere, <laughs> Lincoln is not the place for you, baby. <laughs> because I wrote it here. Lincoln would fit a calm, quiet person who loves to try new food. That's Lincoln for you. And I will explain various aspects of the lifestyle here and why I said so. So Lincoln is a quiet place. And when I say Lincoln is a quiet place, I'm talking about residency because you may go to other places in Lincoln and it may be noisier or busier than other places. But generally, Lincoln is actually a serene city. So I will list out some aspects that concern lifestyle that you may like to know. So the first is food. I've mentioned it in my video on the food in Lincoln and I said it there that, see, when it comes to getting food stuff, I would mark the lifestyle as a pass because in Ryan and Medina stores, they sell lots of African food stuff if you're African. And I believe for other minority groups, you should get your food stuff to make your native meals. But when it comes to fine dining, I would rate Lincoln a fail. And that is because your fine dinings don't take cognizance of other cultures. So that fine dinings most times are British fine dinings. Of course, there are other restaurants like Italian restaurants, Chinese restaurants. But when it comes to African delicacies, there is nothing here. There are Africans that you can meet in various places that they actually cook. There are people that cook and they sell in small quantities and you can patronize them. So I think the lifestyle in Lincoln to a large extent is determined by the company you keep. If, for instance, you are a member of WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups that concern your ethnicity in Lincoln, you definitely will get information about little things like this. For instance, you would know people that sell what. Apart from food, another aspect of lifestyle I want to deal with is about hair because that is a huge part of a lot of Africans. Like, we don't joke with our hair. And I will say it clearly that for hair, I would mark Lincoln a fail. In fact, a total fail because... <laughs> As you can see, this part is quite important to me because <laughs> in Lincoln, there is just one African hair store. Well, it's even better than food because in food, you don't even have any. But the bad thing about Monopoly is when it's just one person serving in market, there is bound to be abuse. So I've been to the hair store, even though I've not made hair there, and the prices are quite ridiculous. And that's because they are the only ones here. The other hair stores in this place are for British hair because they may not know how to deal with African hair. Which brings me back to a point I made. The company you keep. There are people that actually make hair. Of course it is expensive but it is not as expensive as maybe that store. One thing about hair I want to say is if we like because I'm part of them. If we like let's complain about hair from now to tomorrow. Let's calculate the price of Naira to pounds when you want to pay for hair. It's either you pay or you learn how to make your hair yourself. The beautiful thing about being in the link, in short, being in the UK is that you would actually learn some skills you did not know that you had. Who would have thought that I was a hairstylist? Oh well, I actually used to make hair for my sister when I was younger, but I did not know that I could turn it to my work. <laughs> Because when I came here, I actually wanted to cut my hair. Because what is this? To do cornrows, they charge £10. For shea, can be £30. Then when it comes to braid, sir, you are talking big, big money. Unless maybe the person is your friend and just wants to help you. But otherwise, the price here is actually a lot. And you will not even blame them because it's the work of their hands. The thing is, when you have a talent eh, and you are good, you are entitled to charging whatever you feel you are worth. And even if people will complain, some people will still come to you and that's just how it is. It's either you pay this hairstylist or you do it yourself or you just cut your hair. And even cutting hair, speaking of which, hmm, from what I've heard from lots of men around me, the barbers in this place, eh, they, can't, they don't know how to cut hair at all, at all. I saw one of my friends and I'm like, eh, 
why did they carve your head like this like what's going on but thankfully in the african community there are people that cut hair so you can make use of these little little options one other aspect of lifestyle i want to talk about is clubbing now since i've been here i've not been to a club here but i've heard from people that the club here is boom 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 <laughs> and i can agree because even though i've not been there but from what people have said because you know in nigeria for instance we have lots of ginger but i've been told that here is quite slow and dull and i put this point because there are some people that care about clubbing there are people that they care about party and that is one thing that makes them make a decision of where to go to although if you've clubbed in lincoln let me know in the comment section if you actually enjoyed yourself because i don't have any lived experience of that now speaking of o and b parties hey since i've been here i've not even i've not even gone for any wedding i've not ah i'll be going for a wedding in two months time hey <laughs> i just remembered so yeah that's my first and it's not even a wedding in lincoln so i'm not going to any wedding however there may be people that have gone because your company will determine lots of things if you are an outgoing person or someone that carries crowd and has lots of friends you would definitely have a better social life in lincoln than someone that has fewer friends and just focuses on their business the final aspect i'll talk about would be church i will give lifestyle a pass because there are lots of churches here there is redeemed church baptist catholic winners a life church <laughs> and various other churches i've actually been to just one church the church i went to for the first time the church i'm going to forever in lincoln so i don't have experiences about other churches but one thing i will say from my own church it is amazing however being in church sometimes it feels like i'm in a worship concert or a concert because the music is always crazy like crazy in a good way amazing but of course when i came here i just had to accept the fact that you see that they do thing that churches have in nigeria i'm not gonna guarantee lincoln even the church i'm going to it's like mixed and even if you're going to an african church you realize that if you're in the uk or even in lincoln you are not the only African. Nigeria is not the only African country. In my church, there are Ghanaians, Congolese, Kenyans. So if you are Nigerian, you may not get the Nigerian feeling, but I think the church actually is great. About mosque. Until last week, I didn't even know that there was a mosque in Lincoln, but my flatmate started fasting. And then I realized that, oh, there is actually a mosque. I don't know where it is, but there is. So if you're Muslim, there is a mosque for you in Lincoln. So besties, that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, you will definitely enjoy this video where I talked about the food in Lincoln and how I get African food. Thank you for watching besties and I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye guys!